Darren, the time for talking has finally come to an end. You must be really excited ahead of Saturday now. Yeah, really looking forward to it, and I can I can sense the boys are as well. You know, it's been a it's been a tough month in terms of getting some fitness back and just jogging some memories about you know how we play and the the little things that we look for. But you know, it's been a good month and. I think the boys are looking forward to the game now on Saturday and certainly myself and Junior can't wait to get down there and get started. It's been noticed from the conversations I've had with the players that they almost feel like they've picked up that mentality that they had pre-lockdown when we went on that good run. That must be a promising sign for you. Yeah, I mean, it's your last memory of, of football was the Woking game, albeit a, a long time ago. So their, their memory of that game is good. Uh, the atmosphere in training has been good. Obviously, the boys that have chose to come back and get get on board with us and sign extensions and what have you, you know, that they, they, they've come back for a reason. So you know, there's no point coming back and moping around. They've they've come back with a purpose, and the mood's been good, and that's all you can ask for. They're obviously excited. What I hope is they contain that excitement, and it turns into real focus and real good composure on the day and we play to our maximum levels. You know, obviously were going quite well themselves before lockdown. What kind of game are you expecting with them? Ah, listen, it goes without saying, like old cliche and that, but it's going to be really tough, isn't it? You know, you've got, we can't really base the game on any, any form because no one's played for a while. So I, fit, I, I, I believe fitness will play its part. Um, so I, I'm pleased in respect of our fitness levels. But it's going to be a tough one to call. You've got... You know, you, you've got two sets of 11 that are going to be trying their utmost to, to win the game. And I think what's going to be crucial is um, the impact the substitutes are going to have. So, you know, we've, we've, been, we've been covering sort of as many bases as we can so that the importance that the subs are going to play as well, you know, because fatigue will potentially kick in at some point for, for some players, especially our explosive players. Um, but no, listen, it's a, a really tough game. And... Our mentality going into such an important fixture, we're slightly inexperienced in that respect with not many having been in this situation before, but we can easily flip that round into excitement and, and embrace the game, you know, and all we have to do is go there and go for it. You know, it's a, it's a cup game at the end of the day. Winner takes all, so that's the mentality that we go into the game with. You obviously get some extra subs under the new rules for the playoffs how yeah. crucial are substitutions potentially going to be on Saturday well I mean I've, I've I've always believed in the squad and the group of players I've always been comfortable enough with the 11 that have started and and you know it's it's nice to be able to look around and and potentially have the the choices that I've got on the bench which will allow you know like for like or it will allow change of shape um, there'll be some energy on the on the touchline as well, which you know if the game needs a little burst of energy. So, you know we're 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 going down there confident that we've got enough of what we need out of the fifteen sixteen that will be involved that will give us a chance of winning the game. You've got a nice mix of youthful players and experienced heads. Obviously, Elliot and Mauro have been here for ten years. Lochi has played in these kind of games before, and you've got Dunny Skipper who's experienced. How key are those? experienced players going to be for the ones who might have not been in this situation before <clears throat> yeah you're going to need you're going to need your calm heads um your your, your experienced ones i mean not necessarily senior ones because elliot's not particularly old is he mm. but he's he's been here a long time so you know and he's a, he's a consistent performer anyway so you know there's only there's only so much sort of ranting and raving that myself and junior can do from the sideline it, it does need some voices and some experience to get a, get hold of the game if need be um, on the pitch and with with them boys you know as you just mentioned them types of players Dunny as the captain and Elliot Maz Lochi they're all boys that are very vocal anyway so listen it, it, we're going to need a, a, we're going to need a little bit of everything in the game sometimes you know our our energy and our quality and our pace and athleticism is going to be required in one minute and then a little bit of calmness and a little bit of organisation in the next minute might be what we're looking for. So we're going to need all the ing ingredients to come together on Saturday for, for us to go through. 
There may not be fans there, but a playoff eliminator. These must be the kind of games that yourself, Junior, and, and all the boys want to be involved in. Is what we've set out to achieve this year. Listen, uh, and and I said it in when we first come back from lockdown, didn't I? You know, we 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 set targets at the at the start of the season to to obviously be champions, which you know we we didn't achieve that. Uh, but the next target was playoffs, and now we're here. We're we're delighted to be a part of them, and we just want to be successful in them. You know, it's it's my first full season, so it's my first experience of preparing a team for these one-off playoff games. But you know, it's not too different in all fairness to how you how I would prepare for any game really. But there's added excitement involved because. Of, of the potential reward at the end of of the game so listen I'm I'm really really excited at what I really just truly hope is my team go out there and play to their levels that we all know that these boys are capable of and the more that do that on the day we stand a better chance of going through